Hello everyone, this is Robin from MyPinkStamper.com and I have a really fun project for you guys today. I'm going to show you how to make a belly band. And you can use a belly band for almost anything really. You can use it for gift packaging, for card sets, for all sorts of fun things. So I'm going to show you how to use it with our glassine, I'm probably saying that wrong, um, bags. And so I'm gonna show you what you can put in here and then how to make a quick and simple belly band. I'm using Mary Mice because I'm going to be putting a card set in there that coordinates with this stamp set. So what a fun Christmas gift this will be to one of my family or friends. Um, it's always nice to give them sets of cards, especially if they don't make cards on their own. Everybody appreciates handmade gifts, or most people do, let's just say that. So I'm using Mary Mice. I'm using quite a few of the markers. These are from the Many Marvelous Markers set. You can also get them according to, to color family. So you can get them in the different sets of our color fam families. And I'm using the Basic Black Archival Ink Pad. And I'm using, oops, excuse me. I'm using, I don't know why I said excuse me. <laughs> that sounded bad. Okay, I'm using our Lots of Labels, some of the framelits from the Lots of Labels. I'm also using Pop of Pink designer paper. I just wanted a fun and bright pink paper. And then I'm using watercolor paper because I'm going to be coloring. And I'm using basic black. Okay, the first things I'm going to be using are the framelits. So we'll set everything else aside. I'm also using a Stampin' Trimmer to trim my paper, and I'll show you how to do that as well. The first thing I'm going to start with is my Big Shot. I love my Big Shot. And I have my Precision Base platform on top of the Magnetic platform right here. I can do these both at the same time, so I will go ahead, as long as my paper's not too big, huh? Okay, I'll do them both at the same time. I'm going to do the larger size. Make sure your cutting blade is down. And then I'm using that on the watercolor paper, the smaller one. Put that on there and then just roll it through. Oops, hold on. Just roll it through. I'm not sure if I did that far enough. Hold on one second. Robin Cardin. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. I'm gonna pull this down, there we go. Okay, it's nice that you see my mistakes on camera as well, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I had it just too far on the end. You can hear my markers. All right, let's set that aside. We don't need that any longer. Just punch out my basic black piece of cardstock, and then my watercolor cardstock. Now I'm going to be using the stamp, get my black ink pad ready. I'm using this one here with the three mice, and then I'm using, it's time to deck the halls. So you might wanna have a background piece of paper. This is going to go off my watercolor paper just a smidge, just a little bit. Stamp it on there, and if it goes off, just rub it off with your hand or have it on a background paper. It's time to deck the halls. It's just going right on the bottom of it. And now, I'm going to do some coloring here. So, I'm just gonna show you a little bit and then I'll do the rest off screen. So I'm gonna start, I usually start with my lightest color or colors. And of course, I'm going to use, this is Pink Pirouette. And I'm gonna use it on the little girl mouse right here. So it's really easy to use the Stampin' Write markers. You could also watercolor, since this is watercolor paper. You could use the Aqua Pens, the Wink of Stella, the Blender Pens, or just a paintbrush and water with our ink pads. Okay, so I will go ahead and finish coloring this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done coloring this in. Isn't it so super cute? 
You can really use any colors you'd like. I wanted to, sometimes I want the mice just to be white. I went ahead and made them tan. You can make them any color that you think cute little micey, miceys are. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the belly band part. Let's go ahead and add this watercolor colored piece to my black cardstock that I've already cut out. So now it's ready to go. Okay, I'm going to take any paper you want is fine. So any color theme you're using, if you guys are making Christmas cards or birthday set of birthday cards would be a super fun gift for somebody. I'm just going to cut this at two and a half inches. And again, it really doesn't matter what size this part is. You can have a belly band, any different size that you'd like. And so what I would do first, but I don't want to ruin the surprise for you guys of what I've already, what I'm doing. So what I would do is I would put my goodies in there. Now this is a really good idea with like cards and things that are flat or maybe a gift card or something like that. And then I'm going to fold this over. Then I'm going to add my band on here. If you want to score it, you can to have a nicer, tighter crease. I'm going to do that. And then I want it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna make sure that it's a little bit bigger so you can kind of slide it on and off. You wanna be able to, once your goodies are in there, slide it on and off. So when you're, well that might be a little bit too big, but it gives you an idea. I can actually make this a little bit more snug if I want. Okay. So what I would do now is put your items in there that you want to have as your goodie. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the just the top part of here. Make sure that you have, though, your treat in there first before you close it, or you might not be able to get in there again. So I'm going to just pretend that there's something in there. And do this really nice and tight. And then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm just putting adhesive on the middle section that's going to be touching the paper. So here's my cute little belly band. And so now I can have goodies in there or um, a gift card or a card and they can slide that off and then they can save it for later. But I'm gonna show you guys, are you ready to see what I've done with my goodie bag with the belly band? If you guys watched my Pink Stamper Live last week, I demonstrated this card here and I also gave everyone the opportunity to receive all the materials to make this card for placing an order on my online website. Um, so that little special is passed, but I still have this card and some really fun ideas with it. So what I've decided to do is here's my other belly band. So I just picked a different color card. I wanted to make a set of cards for my family and friends. So I'm gonna slip this off. And this is a set of four cards and I've actually made them smaller. So I took a full size A2 card and I've designed the exact same card and instead of being four and a quarter by five and a half, it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And it's a set of four cards. So this would be a fun little gift to give to someone right before Christmas so they can use it to give to someone as a Christmas present. And then it slips right in here. You guys saw that. And then they can kind of get a little sneak peek and I think that even makes it more special because they kind of see what's in there. I love these see-through bags that we have. They're kind of see-through. So there you go. Hope that you guys have a fabulous day and you enjoyed my video. This is actually my third video for last week but I'm posting it this week so I still have three more videos to come this week. Stay tuned, subscribe, check me out on mypinkstamper.com and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day, bye-bye.